We originally bought this cottage just around 10 years ago, and it was really a hunting shack. It was 800 square feet, there was no running water, there was no heat. The real estate agent thought we were insane, but it was such a beautiful property that we really knew that we could do what we wanted with it. The kids grew up here. They were about three, five, and seven when we bought the place. They are now 13, 15, and 17. And we were feeling like if we wanted to extend the life of the cottage beyond where we were, we really needed to add some space. We took the plunge and we built a huge great room, basically, out of that existing 800 square feet. And then we tacked on three bedrooms and two bathrooms into our new 800 square foot box. When we went to renovate it, the big piece of angst was were we going to end up with something that felt totally fancy and didn't feel like us anymore. So we wanted to stay with the same kind of materials. It's wood, rattan, a little bit of leather. They're natural materials that create that same feeling that we had when we started out. The feeling was that we were gonna create so many seating spaces that everybody just wanted to flop in and none of it was gonna feel precious and none of it was gonna feel like you had to take your shoes off. Even though Jason had to take his shoes off when he came in the door. <laughs> This space used to be a kitchen, a dining room, and our entire living room. And this kitchen I'm thrilled with. It's Ikea. It is super durable. There is a massive amount of storage in it. I will show you some of it. This cupboard entirely dedicated to junk and booze. My favorite kind of cupboard. I have every fancy organizer you could imagine in here. Look at, there's a garbage and then there's kibble for a dozen Newfoundland dogs in there. I can have a whole league of Newfoundlanders. One of the other pieces that I spent a lot of time agonizing over was this apron front sink. Very old school, very traditional. And I wanted to marry it with these super modern flat front cabinets. It was the kind of risk that I want to take with my clients and for the most part only take with myself. Um, but I'm really happy with the payoff. I originally had a white range hood and every time I looked at it, it just felt very kind of, I don't know, official, built in. And at the 11th hour, I returned that range hood and replaced it with this really pretty brass backsplash. Paul and I screwed it on. I had a swing arm brass lamp put on top of it. And I think it's so much looser. It feels like, I don't know, a cottage shed. Where I'm standing right now used to be my kids' bedroom. I loved hearing them play, except for the fact that between them and us was this tiny partition wall, and this was our bedroom right here. This area over here is for game playing, which there is a ton of, and I'm so happy that that's actually how it's worked out. This area over here is really more about flumping down and reading a book, listening to some music. There is no Wi-Fi. There's no TV. There's no Fortnite in my cottage, and I couldn't be happier. And then we've got this beautiful chaise in the middle that has been with us throughout the entirety of our cottage life. And it gazes out at the lake which is just a gorgeous view and the sunset in the evening. So now I'm gonna take you into the new wing of the cottage. This is our bedroom. It overlooks the lake. Again, we've got the same kind of lo-fi materials. We made our headboard. You know, I love good sheets, but there's nothing fancy happening here. Paul and I are both huge bathers. I think you either are or you're not. Having a bathtub in the middle of our bedroom where you could watch the sunset again, and right above it is this amazing skylight so you can actually look at the stars at night. Next, I'm in my daughter's bedroom. She finally landed her own bedroom. She's super stoked about that. There's this fantastic old peacock chair behind me. There's a light I brought back from India. Again, really low fi materials in here. 
This is my boy's bedroom. These guys are in the woods all the time, exploring. They've got compasses. There's a film camera. It's a bit of what I grew up with in today's world, which is what I love about it. We really wanted to repurpose a lot of things that were great memories from the old cottage into this cottage. We made shelves out of our old dock. So you'll see those on brass brackets in the kitchen. You'll see a little bench in the front entry made of that cedar. And then there's shelves in the kids' bedrooms also made of that cedar. So they're just these pieces that remind us of where it all began. We've had the space for 10 years and we are hoping that we will see decades more up here. We built this beautiful tree house when we first bought the cottage and the kids camped in it. It really was the destination. Nobody's used it in a handful of years. And Paul was just saying, you know, he hopes there's gonna be a next generation of kids climbing in that tree house and I would love nothing more.